So today I want to talk to you um, about compasses. Now, as you can see, there's many different compasses that I have. Um, different colors, ones with sighting, ones with uh, reflective mirrors like these, ones without, um, <clears throat> ones that will just point your direction. Um, none of these here, I put Ranger Cord on because I'm still testing them out. Um, I did buy a couple of these just to show you that, yeah, they may work, but they're not, um, they're not a more accurate compass. Like this one and this one are lensatic compasses, which means they're a lot more accurate than um, a regular compass. I think they, they're all mag mag uh, magnetic. Um, but I want to show you the differences on where north is going to point, um, where west is going to point, like this is pointing east to west, and it's actually north to south. Um, oh, if I put the if I put the needle on here, put the dog in the house on all of these, um, they'll point north to south. Should. Yeah, that's more correct. Um, so, you put the dog in the house on all of these, and they're all gonna read different for some reason. Now, I've got it on this map I got from training in um, at Nellis. Uh, I'm gonna keep that at 360, and just move that. Uh, but, Find your compass, find which one you're comfortable with. Uh, this is one I'm very, very comfortable with. I just put the bubble in there, even it out, and I know, and I move this to show north, and that way I could sit there and point it north, put it on the zero, um, and I know which way is north. As soon as I level it out, that's north, okay? Why is that important? Because when you get a topical map, um, you can line this up true north, and it should have a declination on the bottom that shows how far off, and on the bottom of a compass somewhere, you should be able to adjust for declination. None of mine have it, so I have to do that in my head. If it's 12 degree east declination, I have to adjust my um, direction 12 degrees east. Not a big deal for me, but for the average user, user, they would have a problem. But, you know, this was probably one of my first compasses I, I got outside the military, and I chose it because one, it looks like my old military compass minus the signaling mirror, uh, which I wish it had. It doesn't have these lines, like this lensatic compass has these lines, so actually when I put it on a map, I could line up these lines, let's just say this was north and I'd have my, and line up north with it, I'd have my direction of 250 north if I was going that way, um, or west, northwest, if I was going that way, but I'm not. Um, this one here, um, I'm sorry, this, these two, what I like about these is they have a, a magnifier on it, so I don't have to carry my, um, I call it a Fresnel compass, but it's a Fresno, um, I mean, a uh, uh, magnifier. It's a Fresno lens that um, I can actually magnify and start a fire. Now, I went back and tried to figure out where I heard Fresno, and I actually heard it from an Army Ranger, um, oddly enough. But I looked it up online. It's a Fresnel lens. I've showed them before with my fire starting stuff, but now I have compasses that have the lens on there. Um, this one is not a lensatic compass, 
but it does have a signaling mirror. And the beauty about these is if you look into the mirror and see this, you can actually see your declination or your uh, your azimuth. So if I wanted to, let's just say, put it on this map and go from <clears throat> the Sally Corridor north uh, to the ranch, from the ranch to Towers, I could actually, and let's just say this is north. I could put it on north here um, and actually draw a line on there, measure in inches on this, and I could actually line up north and get my azimuth of 50. And then my reverse azimuth would be 230. Okay, easy to read. This one, um, pretty easy to read, but it's got the lines in here so I could line them up here instead of on the side. This one also has the lines. Um, this one is a little harder to turn because it's new and I like that because it won't go off, you know? Also, also it has measurements on it, okay? This one, they left off the 10 digit, but I'm okay with that because I know how to read it. Now, I'm still testing these out. Um, that's the reason I haven't put any Ranger cord on it. These, you know, um, I can give them to a kid. You know, it's nice to have a compass. This I've been carrying around um, in my everyday carry. And uh, just because I don't have a compass in there, and it's nice to have, um, but I think I'm going to throw one of these in there. Uh, actually, I don't have another one. But it's nice to have because it's got a thermometer on it. And oddly enough, we have calibrated th thermometers at work and it's pretty accurate. Um, the little whistle on it is nothing. You know. Now, probably seen these before. Um, probably just didn't notice what they were in my video. I got another whistle for alerting. Um, one thing is, is orange. If you have a lot of, like one bag, I have all everything orange. And it's so I don't, if I go out somewhere, I don't lose it. You know, it's easier identified than this something blending in. Like I said, I like to blend in. Now, these are paste beads. Um, I used to call them ranger beads, and um, I don't know where my set went. But as I'm walking from point A to point B, I've already set up my... Um, direction and I've already looked through the glass and I found a, po uh, a, a spot that I could focus on in case I got off because I want to go straight all the time but sometimes you can't sh go straight that's what I learned in the desert where if we had to go around this lake we counted how many paces to the right or left that we went east or west and we after we got around that lake we counted all those paces back. This helps you count paces. So, one kilometer, two kilometer, or, yeah, two. Actually, it's 100 paces, which is, you, you figure out if it's a kilometer for you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, and then a thousand kilometers. So, which a thou or a thousand meters, which a thousand meters is a kilometer. I'm at I'm at to say meters. 100 meters, 200 meters, 300. So five kilometers, which is about 3.1 miles. So that's how you can measure the distance between here and here, because on your map it's going to give you, you know, this far is 10 miles. So you go, okay, yeah. So two and a half inches is 10 miles. So I'm going to go from here to here. I'm going to go 10 miles this way and just keep going. And you measure here on with your beads. Now, what I suggest, you get yourself a compass, you get used to it, play around with it. Get yourself some of these beads. If you want to know how to make them, I'll, 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 send, I'll show you how to make them or send you a link. Um, really easy. Paracord, beads, put it on there. Um, to show you, like I'm gonna go out when I go out in some of the places I'm going, 
I'm gonna just pace myself know how far it is between you know with miles since we do miles here and calculate this with my steps to the miles and my friends are honking at me always um, <clears throat> so so you want to know how much your pace is to be more exact here um, everybody just says okay yeah 100 meters or yeah um, 100 meters, 100 meters, 100 meters until you get to a kilometer, okay? We don't work in kilometers here. Uh, overseas we do, but here it's miles. Now, this map here is a topographical map. What it's gonna show you, see this range here? It's gonna show you mountains. And there's a lot of mountains here. And this is a desert in um, north of Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, so it's going to show you mountains, it's going to show you lakes, it'll show you valleys and get used to reading this, it's like this is all greenery. Um, so if I was looking for water, I would know which way to go. If I was looking for cover, I would know this way. But understand a desert, I'm going to have to pass all this other terrain to get there. That's what I was trained for. But. Um, just get used to a topical map if you can find one for for your area in the in the states um that's fine too because you'll be able to know when when you know if you're if you plan on walking west you'll know where the mountains are and you know when there aren't um and when there's valleys and when there's lakes and things like that but on a regular map that's going to show you lakes but it won't and it'll show you streams most likely um, but it won't show you rivers, valleys, ridges, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my other map, and which is a map that everyone's going to carry, and I'm going to show you the difference here. So what you have here is a Pennsylvania map. Um, on this side, it'll show you... Uh, Allentown side, Philadelphia, and all some of these other little cities inside Philadelphia. Um, not that I'm going to go there or Allentown. This side's going to show you um, Pittsburgh, some of the other ones, New York Line. Okay, whichever map you choose. But look at this legend here. Here is your your scale. So if I want to take these and say, okay miles 20 miles is about an inch and three eighths okay so every inch and three eighths is 20 miles you see how i did that um now here's all your other little things it'll show you national parks staging systems obviously you're not going to want to go to a major area okay so let's just say you're in wilkesboro um you're going to want to go to now I've been in this area, it's all mountains, um, but I would want to go to some, somewhere that's more um, south where the weather's not going to make me cold because, you know, if the, if the shift happens, I may or may not have a, a warm sleeping bag by then, you know. I'm looking in some of these ones that you, they fold down this big. I'm looking into a poncho liner for my poncho and possibly a new poncho. But I don't have the money right now, so I'm dealing with, if it happened tomorrow, I've got enough to go, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, just get used to reading maps. If you have a topographical map, if you can get one, get one. Because, get it laminated, um, so it, it can't get wet. That's why I have these. And I plan on getting more states, um, but... This is what I've got right now. Not from Pennsylvania, but I've got a Pennsylvania map because Pennsylvania is north of it. You know, learn the learn the compasses, learn how this works. Um, all you got to do is YouTube compass navigations, and there are so many people that know much more than I do. If you tell me to go north, I know how to go north. If you tell me that head, you know, 300 degrees for 
five kilometers, I know how to do that. That's what all the other stuff, I don't know how to explain, I just know how to do, you know? Um, I very rarely get lost, I try to get lost, um, but I very rarely do because uh, my situation or awareness is so strong that I recognize landmarks when I don't even subconsciously think of them. But um, learn the compasses, get yourself a lensatic compass, okay? Preferably one with a signaling mirror already, um, with the grid lines here, so you can match them up to your map, um, with a uh, magnifier so you can light fires, because of the, of the, some of the seas, signaling is, is a sub part of some of them of, of compass. So you want to be able to signal. This is part of combustion, you know? All of the, the 10 C's, and this is the last C I'm, I'm covering until I go into some of the foraging and trapping, um, which is I'm going to get into this summer. So learn a compass. Um, my family, you know, I this is what these are geared to. If you guys want to set off a couple of hours, I'll teach you how to do a compass. We'll go for a hike. Um, just, you know, plan on hearing everything else because you guys know me. I'm going to teach you as much as possible because I'm not going to be here when the shift happens. And you know why. So, God bless you. Take care. And happy hunting. Okay, so... I talked to you about compasses. And I wanted to show you that I have two compasses out that I trust very much. Um, they're both pointing north, which is that way. I have my mess kit out with a little bit of water in here. What I neglected to find was a leaf. So I'm sure I could find a leaf on the ground right here. Um, so hopefully this will float. Okay, it's floating. Um, one of the cool things <clears throat> that I keep in my first aid kit, you see I have a lot of stuff in my first aid kit. Um, mostly band-aids, masks, and liquid skin, uh, tube for CPR, Definitely a tourniquet, um, super glue, Purell, Purell and cotton balls to start a fire, um, dental floss, knife, safety pins, <clears throat> but more importantly I have um, a cargo needle and I've been working with these. So I magnetized this one yesterday. I want to see if it stays magnetized. It should point to the north. Um, it should go faster than that. Okay. Right. I also magnetized this one. So they're not they're not behaving like I thought they would. Um, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to magnetize it. Now, my flashlight, light, light, flashing red, okay? This is one of the few stuff, few things I have for signaling. Um, I don't keep a lot of it, but one good thing, it, it'll magnetize. So ideally, if you put a leaf in water, let it go free, it should point to north. Now I might have a defective leaf here. Um, now this end is the one I magnetized. So it should work. I did spin it a little bit, but it should stay this way. Now if it doesn't, I got a defective leaf. Okay, I think it's stopping. Actually, yep, it's car it's turning back. So, uh, with these compasses pointing north this way, north this way, as you can see, it's right in line. So that's one of the ways, but you have to have a magnet and you have to have cargo needle. And cargo needle is part of this. This is one of the many uses of cargo needles. That's why a lot of 
a lot of bushwhackers will actually bush, survivalist bushcrafters they'll keep a cargo needle taped to the back of their knife um, taped somewhere so they always have a cargo needle plus you could use fishing line which is what I had on there or you can use dental floss to lace up things to for that's why it's in my first aid kit so I can um, sew myself up I also have don't suggest this for anybody unless you know how to use them sutures so you could see that it's an indentation of suit uh, of the curved sutures I could also use these for fish hooks if I can ever get it apart I don't plan on taking this apart very much so you could see the ends of the suture there I got three sizes smaller size are on the inside um, but you can see the use another use of a cargo needle um, these all these little tricks I learned off the internet and I've tried them and I know they work um, that's if, if, if I don't bring it to you and you saw it on the internet I either didn't try it or it didn't work but most of the stuff with the Pathfinder works um, the only difference is, is this you know they don't like me to have a 32 ounce double wall. Okay, if I want to make this a single wall, all I got to do is poke it, poke a hole in the bottom. But I like my double wall. Plus, I have other ways of, bur uh, of boiling water. Um, so, it's all in preference, you know. Nobody gives me comments. Of course, nobody views this because I don't have it out there for everybody to view. I mean, anyone can view this. But I don't have it kind of publicized because I want my family to get this and I want my family to understand how crucial this is, especially right now with um, Russia going into Ukraine, talking about trying to take over more and uh, China's talking about taking over Taiwan. I mean, it's a game of risk. And if anybody's played that game, risk, they know that it's world domination is, is the goal. Now, <clears throat> we don't want to be here when it happens. So, God bless you. You guys take care. Um, <clears throat> just keep training. That's all I can ask is you guys keep training. Uh, next week, we're going to go into a little bit of foraging and a little bit of trapping um, because I got critters coming into my perimeter. Um, we're going to be moving into my new camp. Um, Hopefully I can get all that ready to go for next week and it doesn't rain all weekend like it was supposed to today or this weekend. Um, God bless you and take care.